And welcome to the friendly confines of Craven Cottage in West London. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Fulham up against Southampton. Well, Derek, we're looking forward to this game. You can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. Thank you for attending the game at Craven Cottage today. Enjoy the match. And now they get the ball rolling. Arribo. Armstrong. Robinson. Ream with it. Tete. Harrison Reed. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Now, what can they do from here? And intercepts again. Adams. Firing it towards goal. Oh, good hands there from the keeper. Kenny Tete. Adarabayo. Kebano has it. Tosin Adarabayo. Robinson. Reed. Can he find the net? In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why he's upset. He got something on it, but not enough to keep it out. That's frustrating for a keeper. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. This looks promising. Oh, could be. Can they slot it home? Don't see your players waiting in the middle. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Can he compose himself? And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Kenny Tete. Chance to do damage. Can he play it in? And cut again from the flank. Oh, good looking run. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that.
Arribo. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. And support available. Mitrovic. And the keeper had the measure of it. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, nothing productive, really. Struggling to keep the ball. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Robinson. Mitrovic did well to win the ball back. Aribo. Tosin Adarabayo. Bobby Reid. And he's won the ball. And they know they need to stop him. And providing width. Palinha. Tosin Adarabayo. And giving it away. So almost at half time and they are making good use of home advantage still a bit of work to do though Stuart your thoughts on what you've seen yes they've defended really well all over the pitch their work rate and discipline has been excellent for any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away good looking ball how can he take them on and beat them Pereira well, far too much elevation there. Ward Prowse, Aribo, Che Adams, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And he's made headway, and he's gone and scored to level us again. So back underway following the equaliser. Robinson. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. For Prowse. El Yunusi. Oh, keeper in control. <laughs> Who 
Who can they pick out? Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Can they take the lead? Oh, he's blocked it. Well, there it is. Half time. The first half is in the history books here at Craven Cottage. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I really liked his first half display. He was... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, they have the ball once more. And he has options available. Ward Prowse. And he read it well defensively. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Bobby Reid. Opportunity in the wide area. Mitrovic. Now he must favour the cross. Speculative effort. Well, trying his luck from a long way out. But the keeper saw it all the way. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. Quite simply, they just need to get on the ball more than they have been. A very good tackle. Arribo. Tim Ream. Reid now. Kenny Tete. Tim Ream. Pereira. Tete. Reid. Crossing into the middle. Oh, wonder goal! Right out of the top drawer. Who could do better than that? Well, as you can see, they don't come much better than this. It's a goal of the highest quality. Wonderful piece of skill. Two, one. Alexander Mitrovic. We've had a mobile phone handed in. If you've lost your mobile phone, Armstrong. Ward Prowse. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Tosin Adarabayo. And they know they need to stop him. The cross is on. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ward Prowse. Not much time to make up his mind. And into the last 20 minutes.
Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Tete. Tim Ream. Robinson. Wilson. Kenny Tete. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Can he play it in? Well, they couldn't do anything positive with the cross. Difficulties for the goalkeeper. Oh, a goal! It's gone in! The goalkeeper doesn't want to see a playback of that ever again. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Elianusi, and he favours the inside route. And still looking for space, ball is loose, and it's in! They've eaten into their advantage, and this is not over, not yet anyway. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Just 10 minutes to go. Clean challenge. Well, still time for them to level it. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. They take it short, and the cross smuggled away. So the corner played into the box. Well, it has come to nothing. Ward Prowse gives it a go, and blocked for now. Mbabu and Reed with it. Space afforded him. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. So almost at full time and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, what a finale we have here. Both sides have looked good going forward. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. In it goes! to increase their advantage and will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them well here we can see it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself but there's still plenty to do from here he hits it so well though lots of pace lots of power and the keeper just can't react in time it's a great strike. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. 
We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Aribo. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. Well, that is how to play advantage. And the Saints unable to hold on to the ball. And they need to get tighter here. Wilson. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was. And the contest...